fall behind Be where trouble melts like many drops I am a virgin, my little love goes away Before I jump in, being Finney, I have to be a little selfish and take the mic for myself. As I stand here with arguably the best seat in the house, it's hard to not be slightly taken aback by the journey Arash and Andrea shared to get here. A journey that I think we all shared, I'd like to think we all shared with them. I want everyone to take a second and think back to the first time you heard Andrea tell you about Arash. Or the first time you heard Arash gush about Dre. Just think about the smile each one of them had on their face you immediately had on your face when you saw how genuine that feeling was. Where you were that day and where you are now today and the journey it took us to get to that point. I remember to this day the car ride with Dre when she first told me about Arash. I remember where we were, where we were going, the two minutes of silence before she opened her mouth, all of it. I remember meeting Arash for the first time in Atlantic City. We all have those memories. We all have the first Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth no other relationship can equal. It offers opportunities for sharing, a physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and husband Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, and commitment is stronger. Marriage also understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. Today, on February 10th, 2017, as you join yourselves in marriage, there is a vast and unknown future stretching out before you. Yes, I agree. The possibilities and potentials of your married life are great and unknown. It now falls upon your shoulders the task of choosing your values and making, your, and making real your dreams. Through your commitment to each other, May you grow and nurture a love that not only makes you better people, but a love that continues to give you great joy and also a passion for living that provides you with energy and patience and knowing you both let me stress patience to face the responsibilities of life. Kayla has given us practice and patience as Aunt Diana is currently showing us. chosen as a couple to perform a love letter, love letter and wine box ceremony. 
contrary to my first beliefs, this does not mean that they wrote love letters about their favorite bottles of wine. <laughs> a few weeks before the wedding, Andrew and Arash decided to write love letters to each other. They wrote about the good qualities they find in one another, the reasons they fell in love, and their reasons for choosing to marry. The letters were sealed in individual envelopes and have not seen what the other has written. They've created their very own romantic time capsule to be opened on their first wedding anniversary. The letters will be stored in this box, which will be prominently displayed in the house. On their first anniversary, they will open the box, read the love letters, pop some bottles, and celebrate. <laughs> Amen. Then, write each other a new love letter, get a new, possibly larger bottle of wine, and repeat every year. We recommend that you keep the box in a place of honor that Kayla cannot reach, prominently displayed in the home as a constant reminder of your commitment to each other. Every time you see the box, you'll remember today. You'll remember what you wrote in that letter. We sealed the box. In a very special treat for everybody here today, Andrea and Arash have chosen to write their own vows. Andrea is lucky enough to go first. Beautifully talented Arash will now be speaking. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna keep this short. Feet <laughs> 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 Fred. One friend. Wait, there's two do this. <laughs> Kale, banana, well, grossy list. <laughs> so, um, this is a non traditional wedding. You chose a non traditional man. So I'm going to give you a non-traditional vow. 
Everyone here knows what marriage is all about. Love, fidelity, friendship. But I think everyone here should know how important it is, or how important it is to me, to express how awesome you are. So, for starters, <clears throat> you're so awesome that my mom loves you more than she loves me. <laughs> and if she's here right now, you know you should be in the background going, that is true. <laughs> alone a testament, everyone here, we are surrounded by awesomeness, and awesomeness breeds awesomeness, it speaks for itself, but most importantly, the fact that you tolerate my lunacy is a testament to how awesome you really are. So I didn't really fathom how awesome you were until April 1st, 2012, when we had our first dinner, our first date with sushi, I ate a lot. And um, you muscled through 12 hours of me talking. 12 hours, we were up to like six in the morning. Awesome. <clears throat> but even, you know when we first met in the gym, which in and of itself is pretty awesome, you became my gym best friend. So we were best friends before any of this. Some because of Jim, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and if it, wasn't, if it was even possible, more awesome. Which I didn't think it was, I couldn't fathom being more awesome than you. Then came Kayla, which added the whole awesomeness, this awesomeness. She added, she's so awesome, she added an extra nest to awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> when it's all said and done, I, I really don't expect it. I really don't. I think that we're gonna still maintain this unachievable level of awesomeness. So I could, you know, I could promise you, hold me over. Love-filled marriage with awesome family, both yours and mine. Loaded with strange quirks and mindless banter. Me and my brother. Um, <laughs> I could promise you everything. From awesome nights of laughter to just regular nights of pizza and movies with a few glasses of red wine. I could promise you we'll be that old couple holding hands walking through the park and you're sharing that massive basket of ice cream. That's gonna be us. You know, there was a time where I, I couldn't fathom being in this position and now. But here we are the first day of the rest of our lives together. I want to have any other life. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've had cold foot here. <laughs> I think we all can say that was an awesome speech. <laughs> <laughs> I did, you deserve more than an introduction. I, I let you down there. I, I apologize for that. I think a theme that we're starting to realize and that'll be prominent through the rest of the night, through the rest of this journey, is the importance of family. Following along on that line, Arash's brother Omid is our ring bearer, is now going to bring the rings up. He did threaten to keep the rings, so after the ceremony, we may need to have them inspected or somebody knows. You reminded me of my fan. <laughs> Thank you, Omid. The ring is a symbol of eternity and the unbroken circle of love. Love freely 
given has no beginning and no end, but your rings did have a beginning. The metal and stones were formed a long time ago deep within the earth. Eventually, a series of lucky events caused them to rise to the surface, where someone eventually dug them up. Something beautiful was made from the raw and imperfect elements. Today you have chosen to exchange these beautifully crafted elements as a sign of your love for each other. Your love may have come from humble beginnings, but through a combination of chance and effort, it has been shaped into something extraordinary. Your love, like those raw elements, have now been shaped into something beautiful. Andrew, you are going to go first again. Andrew, place the ring on Arash's left finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and pledge. Of my constant faith and abiding love. My constant faith and abiding love. Arash, without dropping the ring, place on Andrea's left finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a token. I give you this ring as a token. And pledge of my constant faith. And pledge of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Your two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. As you look at these rings over the years, I hope you remember that today you've created something precious. And just as you will protect these rings, I am confident you will protect this union. Kayla has the same opinion. May you two continue to find and explore the love for which all men and women long for. May these rings symbolize the spirit of the undying love in the hearts of all. to treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Take responsibility for making the other people